I'm Max Henson, sports content editor of the Badger Herald, here at UW. Today, we're giving you an inside look at the greatest college sports town in America. Madison, Wisconsin. The weather is a little chilly for me, but I guess it gets a lot worse here in Madison. Right. I'm a wuss. I'm from the south, so yeah. when it gets below 70, I bring out the scarf and the leather. Yeah, you're going to see Smash Mouth from Wisconsin, but you're also going to see some variety. They're going to right. have to be unpredictable. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a tricky thing sometimes. you got to be very sound and do what they do, which is not commit penalties, having a turnover in four-plus games. When you get in the red zone, touchdowns, not field goals. They do a tremendous job of that because they do have a powerful offensive line, but they also have White, the speedy back. Tolzien's an accurate quarterback. Kendricks is a great tight end, and they have two wideouts who can make plays too. So obviously they've been very effective down in the red zone. They got to do all that stuff, and you know, smash them, smash them in the mouth, and possess mm -hmm. the ball, keep it away from prior. I think that when I travel around the country, people still look at the Big Ten, the three yards in a cloud of dust. Yeah. And the only way to change that change that perception is to go to bowl games and do what Wisconsin's done. And that's that's beat the SEC. You got to beat teams with speed to gain. Respect. These are two of the most physical teams in the Big Ten, right? right? So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see what Wisconsin can do to maybe kind of shut down dual threat quarterback like Terrell right. Pryor, seeing if Scott Tolzien can maybe make up for the, uh, you know, interceptions from yeah, last year. didn't play year. well. Yeah, year. yeah, but that happens. Right. I mean, not everybody can be perfect. So, right. and of course, the jump around. I yeah. cannot wait to jump around in right. the fourth quarter. You know, you so rarely in your life get opportunities like this as an athlete, whether it's high school or college or the NFL, and have an opportunity to play the number one ranked team and have it be in your place at night, national TV. I mean, that really is being sold to them as a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and I think we're all eager to see how they'll react to it and if they can seize it.